Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Bubs here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the uh, new after patch to the unlimited time vault lobby glitch in season 5. Now the old method was patched and there's a few extra steps in this new one so pay attention. Now let's try to get uh, 375 likes on this video and I'll be posting the solo ball lobby glitch that you guys can do. Now enter the DM Ultra account or Cod Points giveaway. To enter, all you guys gotta do is drop a sub with post notifications and drop a comment down below and the winner will be picked very soon. Now today's video was sponsored by Ball Services, so if you guys are looking for ball lobbies, instant dark ether and DM Ultron locks, then go join the discord. They're super nice to deal with and their links will be down below. Now let's waste no more time and let's get straight into it. So as I said before, the older glitch method was patched and this is the new updated version and this is only for PSN users but if you guys want the solo ball lobby glitch which works for also Xbox and PC then let me know down below. The video on that will be coming out very soon. If you guys are on the Xbox or PC, you guys still have to use the older uh, TDM ball lobby glitch which I'll play after this one. So the first thing you guys want to do for this uh, new updated version is the same thing. Start up a private match and then when you guys see your classes pop up, just end the game and I'll be back shortly. Now what you guys want to do is leave custom games from here and then go to versus bots, press on settings and tell your friend to invite you and join him. When you guys join him, keep spamming the uh, settings button and it should kick you off again and then just press settings when it uh, kicks you off and tell your friend to back out with the party. When he backs out with the party and it kicks you off the settings screen, just press settings again and tell your friend to go to zombies. When you're in zombies, tell him to uh, start up a private outbreak game and make sure he hovers over leave party and when the timer hits 27 seconds, tell him to leave alone and then join back right away. When he's back in, just change the map to global, press on team deathmatch and start the match. Just uh, accept the uh, lobby error when you guys uh, change the map as well. Now do not go to manage party and leave alone, just spawn into the game and this will put you guys uh, both in the same team. Now when you guys spawn in, make sure you guys uh, don't have flak jacket and then use a molotov because it's the fastest. Throw the molotov on the ground and you guys uh, both should die about 3 times and it should spawn you in the middle part of the map and just uh, end the game. When you guys get to the middle, that's all you need to do, just end the game. If your friend gets disconnected, just wait until he gets the error code and accept it. When you guys get here, you should have the uh, zombies modes in multiplayer and all you want to do is leave alone and go into multiplayer. Make sure you tell that person to just uh, wait on that screen and do not touch anything, not even the controller. Just tell him to wait on that screen that he's on. While he's waiting, all you guys want to do is go to custom games, start up the game and then end it when the uh, classes pop up. Now as I said before, make sure the other player doesn't even touch his controller when he's on that screen. That's really important. When you guys uh, end the uh, custom game, all you guys want to do is leave the lobby and when you guys see that white line disappear, just spam down on the d-pad and at that very last second, you guys need to click X on uh, change mode. If done correctly, you guys should uh, glitch onto the uh, change mode screen. Now if you guys do this wrong, then you guys have to start up a new custom game and then try this step again. Now this timing is really hard but we got lucky enough to get it on the first try because we've been doing it for a very long time. So yet again this is the hardest part of the glitch so do not give up easily. Now, if now from here go to my saved and then hover over the uh, saved mode that you guys have and then press options. Now tell your other person that's been in the other lobby uh, waiting to invite you and then join him. 
Now, when you guys join him, tell him to uh, go to Onslaught and then start that. And when you guys see the party limit change to uh, 2, you guys can leave the options tab, but still stay hovered over the uh, save mode. Now, when the maps come up to vote for the other player, he needs to leave alone and then join back right away. When he joins back, press on your saved mode to select it and then go to manage party and then leave the party. Now you're gonna get the map that's on the left side so you guys don't really have a choice with the map but that doesn't really matter. In this footage, we did it with SND. In my opinion, the settings that we used were the best settings for the saved mode with SND so use the same ones. Now I've heard sometimes that the XP is very glitchy with this glitch and sometimes it doesn't even stick. So we are trying and we have been trying to make it where it will 100% always stick. So maybe stay tuned for that. But this unlimited ball lobby is perfect because you guys can get your DM altar done so fast because it's unlimited. And you guys don't need to start the uh, lobbies over and over again. Now let's try to get uh, 370 likes on this video. And I'll be posting the solo ball lobby glitch where uh, anyone can do even the Xbox and PC users. Now, if you're on Xbox or PC, then sorry, you're not going to be able to do this. But you guys can use the older vault lobby, which I'll be playing uh, right after this outro for this video. Now, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter right now if you guys ever want to talk. Just message me on any of those. I do reply fast on Twitter, just so you guys know. And sometimes I cannot reply to every single one of you guys, but I do try my best. And also, the link to my TikTok will be down below. So if you guys want to check that out, then go for it. Now, if you guys had trouble with this, then drop a comment down below or message me on Twitter to get some help. Now, if this video helped you guys in any way, then make sure you guys titty smack the subscribe button because that would mean the world to me. And we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers, so please help out. Now, before I sign out, make sure you guys share this video with all your friends and family. This has been your boy Bubs, and I'm out. Peace. So all you guys want to do is start up a custom game and then end it right away. Now after you guys have went into custom games and ended the game, you guys can either do that or you guys can just go into a multiplayer game and then leave the game from there and then go into versus bots and press on settings. When you guys are in settings, tell your friends to invite you and make sure he's on the multiplayer screen and then open up the first invite and then tell him to invite you again. When you get the second invite, just accept the first one that you had open and then spam triangle or the button to open up the second invite. When you guys have joined your friend and the second invite is open, just back out of that screen and then press on the uh, settings button again and tell your friends to back out with the party. When he backs out, you should get kicked from the settings screen and then all you want to do is press settings again and then tell your friend to go into zombies. When you get into zombies, it should kick you off the settings screen and then all you want to do is tell your friends to go into a private match outbreak game and this is where the uh, step changes. Make sure he doesn't leave right away. When the counter at the top says uh, 29 seconds, that's when he has to leave and then make sure he joins back right away after that. When he joins back and you guys see it at the top right, just change the map to global and then press team deathmatch and start the match. When you guys get the lobby error, just accept it and then go into manage party and then leave the party like you see me do.
After this, the glitch is done and you guys are good to go and it should have the map on the bottom left and it should say team deathmatch when the game is starting up like you guys will see. Also, you guys will know if you guys have done it right if you guys have your multiplayer classes there instead of your zombies ones. Now after, when you guys spawn into the game, you and the other player have to kill yourself and you guys should spawn in the middle part of the map. You might have to kill yourself once, twice or even three times before you guys get there. When you guys are in the middle part, uh, you guys can just uh, kill the other person over and over again because there's only two spawn points. If you guys want the person to only spawn in one spot, then all you need to do is get a Sam Train or a Sentry Gun and put it at one of the two spawn points and now the other player will only spawn in that one spot or you guys can uh, stand at one spawn point and uh, that's way better because the other person will be only spawning at one location.